Hi YouTube, I'm here to show you, I did a haul on, um, I made a purchase at I break for stamps. I saw, um, somebody's video and I don't remember who it was off the top of my head, but they did a, um, stamp haul and they had the cutest snowmans, which I kind of been into that, um, this year. And it turns out out of all of them, I only bought one snowman and these came, you, you have the choice on their um, site, and I'll link a thing in the description below. But it's iBreakForStamps.com, I believe, and I'll hook up a link. But um, good quality stamps, and you have the choice to get them um, unmounted or cling mount, and which I like that because it is cheaper. The I love the stamps. They're adorable. Um, the only complaint that I had, but I guess it's not a big deal if they're saving money, is they didn't come in like any kind of packaging. Um, I think two of them that I ordered unmounted was the snowman, and I mounted them myself because I knew I had some mounting foam. But some of the bigger ones, I just prefer to pay more and get them mounted because then I just have to go buy cling foam and sit and cut them out. And, I don't know. It's your choice. But... It does save money, but like I said, they didn't, like, package them. They just, like, it was like a envelope, and they were just in there, like this. Um, no paper with it stamped on, so I had to stamp the images out myself. Because when I like to store them, I like to see, you know, see the stamp. You can't tell which stamp that is when it's just like that. So that was the only thing, I mean, even if it was in a baggie or something, I guess, but if it's saving money, then I'm all about that because I'm not going to squawk over not having pretty packaging for my stamps if I can save money. But these are the images that I got. That's like a dress-up bear, and I thought that was so super cute. And, of course, this looks like my little dog, Zoe. So that's a Christmas, she has like a Christmas wreath and bow on her head, and she's got her little dog bone. How come whenever I do a video, the phone goes off? Um, but anyway, so there's that. And then there's the snowman. And when I cut the cling foam mount, I trimmed off a piece of his glove on accident. So I'm really mad, but not to worry. I can fill it in with a marker or something. But I thought that was cute for paper piercing, piecing. Why do I call it piercing? Paper piecing. I love doing that. I'm into that now. I got that, um, it looks like the scanner barcodes and it says homemade and then so I like that for the back of my cards I thought that was really cool and then this stocking which I thought was really gorgeous and it's got a lot of detail and I thought that would make really pretty Christmas Christmassy type cards too so that's that batch and then I ordered another sheet and this was just something I liked one of the stamps on there and this is how I store my cling mount stamps. I use a binder and then I put it on the board, the um, cling mount board that you can order on probably this site too. But again, this came in a sheet and I did choose to get this mounted. So it already came on the cling foam, but I had to cut them all out. And that's fine because they're a little bit cheaper, but there's those. So here's the images. And I just thought this was funny to make some cards. Let me get rid of the glare here to make some cards for, um, I don't know, birthdays and stuff. Let me see. Hold on one second. I think I'll take the paper out. There we go. Genius. All right, so there's a little old man with his um, little heart boxers. I thought that was cute. And there's this lady relaxing on her inner tube but the reason why I chose this stamp set was primarily because of this old lady <laughs> with her sagginess going on and her dog that she's walking and then she's holding her bag of doggy do which I think that's I don't know it'll make a funny card for people I know that have dogs <laughs> and I just and then there's this woman exercising so I just think these are cool every day. And look at the woman going to the beach, okay? Is that totally... How funny. And then there's the poker mama. She's got her chips. So they have a bunch of cute stamps. Head on over there and check them out. I break for stamps. That was the first time I ordered from them. 
the stamps are great. The only problem is, you know, the packaging. But they are, they're not that expensive. They do take a discount off for that. So that's how I, so I, I stamped them out on just a piece of blank, pa you know, paper. And I put it in these page protectors so that I know what stamps. And then I buy the cling, and then you can just see this book is loaded. I'm ready to do another one. So on this side I have the stamped images. And then that side I do the stamps. Um, I try to keep them in, like here's, like in, you know, where I bought them from, like Greeting Farm with Greeting Farm. These are a break for stamps, I believe. No, um, Stamper's Best that I got. I haven't used these yet. I have to use them, break them out. I didn't get them that long ago, but then I have like the Greeting Farm. And see, I cut the packaging and I put it in there so I know, you know, who where I got it from and which stamps like that it just makes it a lot easier so you can keep track so I gotta fill up another binder because this one's full but then I also have I did a haul the other day where I went to Hobby Lobby so I wanted to show you this gorgeous trim that I got because I did leave that out I forgot because it was in another bag this was cut by the yard trim, and I did use a coupon on it. You can use a coupon if you um, do it all in one cut, which I cut this up myself because I was giving it away to as gifts. But look at that. I haven't seen that. This is a new one they have there. Even the girl cutting it didn't even notice it. She's like, oh, wow, that's new. So love this. It has the tool, which is the... Um, leopard print or animal print on the end and it's velvet in the middle and silky so gorgeous gorgeous and then here's another piece a different look where it just has the tool on one side if you can see that super pretty love that that's at Hobby Lobby and then I got this it's um this is just really pretty I think I've seen this in hauls, but look at the edging on that. It's so pretty. I don't know how this camera's picking it up. So I got that, and then I also did a, I got on the Carla, oh, another thing that I got from I uh, Break for Stamps. And this, they did, they did send my flowers in a separate package, but they have flowers. And they also did, like in my invoicing, they sent me all these inside these little flowers so I thought that was really cute so and there's that and then I got all these flowers from them too and I've already dug in and used some but all these cherry blossoms that I've been seeing I got the brown and then I got cream and these are good quality paper I am roses quality I got the plain white so I can color them myself, and then I got a touch of pink, um, and these little leaves, oh my gosh, I love them. They are really sturdy, they take hot glue well, and then you can just poke, they're not, can you see that? Gorgeous. Love them, and you get so many in here, so I'll be using these for quite a while. Um, so that's at I break for stamps. Here's the item numbers um, if you're interested. The brown. And then I thought I'd try out score tape. I haven't tried out score tape yet. And I got that from I break for stamps as well. And um, I usually use the red line tape. So I'm going to try this out. I've been seeing everybody. And I'm almost out. So we'll see how this is and then I did get on the um, the Carla bandwagon I had to uh, see all this so I ordered from Carla's I'm sure you've all seen her Carla's 001 um, Etsy store and she has some gorgeous 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 things sorry about my moving around I'm doing it one-handed I got the bling that I'm sure you've all seen, the mesh bling. Luscious. I love this stuff. You can cut it on your cuddle bug too with your dies. 
So I got that. I had to try that out. And I got some of the burlap, the ribbon burlap. That's the natural, and it was two yards. And then I got, she threw this in. I didn't order this, so thank you so much. I love when you get little extras. That's just great customer service. And it's fun no matter no matter what it is. And then look at this, this black bling, and it comes in this cute little bag, which I know I'll reuse. Let me see if I can open this up. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And then what else did I get? Of course, this was my main reason, the mesh bling and these flowers. I got, I had to get and try these out. And Fiona makes these too. Um, Jennings 444. She's in the UK. She did a tutorial. She, she found the flat back and she made some that are just as gorgeous. But, oh my gosh, I'm loving these. And then I got the clear. It was so hard to decide what colors to get. So I definitely will be going back for more of those when I get some more funds, which probably won't be till after Christmas. I'm all tapped out. Okay, ladies, enjoy. Um, check out I Break for Stamps. They have some cute stamps. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.